art. This is where it happens for me. When we try and get creative. I try to think back to where my own fascination with art came from. In some ways, I think it must go back to childhood. Not that I was great at drawing or anything, but that idea of being creative has always been a part of who I am, I think. And so over the course of my adulthood, there have been times when I've dabbled with it and times when I've just left it alone. But when I have dabbled with it, I've always really enjoyed the process. And I think that's, that's what really matters. It's not so much the end result, although that is important for me. Um, it's the process of getting involved in, in making something, of, of creating something that's probably unique to you. And I don't know, there's something quite important and fulfilling about that. I remember as well, there've been times in my life where I've been really passionate about art and I've been really, really drawn to, to find a canvas and just put paint onto it and, and see what happens. And uh, I wonder now whether there's that much difference between now, now and then. Um, but I think recognizing those passions in our life is, is important and to allow yourself to be drawn in that direction does bring a sense of fulfillment and, and purpose with it. So I thought I'd have this crazy idea and just have a go at documenting my, my art journey from from where it is now to whatever it might become as time goes on. And like everything else, you start where you are. I've never attended art class or school or anything like that, but I've tended to observe art. And again, some art you find really exciting and you can get particularly passionate about it and other art you look at and it just does nothing for you. And so I think what you've got to do is, is to find that, that style, that, that setting that, that you really do find exciting. It stimulates something inside you and you want to, to maybe replicate and then build on and develop that style because that's something that you feel quite quite strongly about and so for me it had to be to do with the things that I enjoy so that's going to be around the sea or it's going to be around cities because the things that I love most are those visits to the sea and the ocean, watching, looking, observing, and those visits to the city. The ultimate experience has got to be a city break by the sea or by the ocean. In addition to, to the idea of, of, of passion, is the need for ongoing practice. Let's add a little bit of linseed oil because we want to soften this and work in that old fashioned school of oil, which 
it's obviously a lot more messy than watercolour and um, a lot more messy than than acrylic actually I've been trying to convince myself that I should move over to acrylics um, but I don't know there's something really nice about the smell of oil paint <laughs> and um, I'm not sure whether I can uh, move away from that just yet so again that's I just need a little bit more oil with the paint because we need to let it flow easier than it is doing at the moment so here we are up in the loft it's a space that nobody else needs to come into so it doesn't matter if it gets left behind stuff doesn't get packed away and in fact working with oil there's a real advantage to that because sometimes you're wanting the canvas to dry more than others depending on what's coming next as you're layering up the picture and working out where you want to take it next then sometimes you're looking for different degrees of of drying in the process now of course with acrylic unless you're putting a an adhesive into it a, a mixture to prolong the drying time you, you're left with no option but to work really quickly with it with oil you do have the opportunity to work over a longer period of time and that can be both an advantage but also if you're not careful it can become a disadvantage because again the thing with art and this can be really difficult is not to overthink it so I think with anything certainly passion is a place where it starts but practice developing the process of learning discovery honing talent gift trying things out not being scared to try things out um, really does matter a lot so here we go just going to have a go at documenting my own art journey and probably painting a few pieces talking about the process of that what we're learning through it because there's more to art than just the paint on the canvas and enjoying it now I'm still at that place where my art is very much based on copying other people's work I'm trying to move away from it but that's where it's at, at the moment so what I'm just starting to do here is is to build the foundation of a little piece that's going to be based on a, a photograph of a, a beautiful piece of art in a friend's house that I took some while back and I've just been thinking about it quite a lot recently um, and I thought oh yeah I've got to got to get some camp got to get a canvas and some paint going and um, let's see where we can take that so there's going to be some sand in here there's going to be some sky in here and it's going to build and, and move up towards the skyline um, but that's the basis for a start and um, 
this is the journey of art and um, I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Hope you do too.